You didn't make it into that team. You didn't pass that test. You didn't get selected. I'm sorry. These are words that we have all probably heard. Raise your hand if you have. Almost everyone here, right? Everyone has heard this. Everyone has been told this at least once in their life. You see, moments like this happen to me on numerous occasions, whether it be trying out for a sports team, getting the lead in a play, or winning a competition. And usually, I'm okay with this. But there was this one time where I cried out for something that I didn't make that has stuck with me ever since. It was two years ago. I was getting ready for my first ever work experience interview. I washed my hair, painted my nails and wore the most formal attire I could find. And I did it. I swallowed down my nerves and did that interview. It went great. I answered all the questions and maintained eye contact the whole time. Four weeks later, I received the news. I jumped to my phone, opened the email and it read, Dear Ria, we regret to inform you that we cannot provide you a work experience. I was crushed, devastated. I spent that next whole week binge eating my heart out and watched 12 films off Netflix. A year passed and I tried again. I washed my hair, painted my nails and made sure I looked fabulous. And I did that same interview. As a fairy tale would like to have it, I should have got in, right? Nope. Four weeks later, I received that same email. That was all two years ago. I would be lying if I've learned how to be confident or have more faith in myself. I'm now amazing at taking rejection. What I have learned is to keep trying. This event has stuck with me as I view it as a significant failure. However, I still won. I won the feeling of being driven and having to ad adapt to a much more positive demeanor. As Emily Dickinson once said, whenever a thing is done for the first time, it releases a little demon inside of you. In my case, that little demon is my dedication. I don't want to be like Vincent van Gogh or Brega Mendel. They gave up too soon and never got to see how loved and important they are in society. I want to continue. I want to see my success and nothing is going to stop me from getting that and nothing should stop you. Thank you.